Hey gang, I wanted to talk about um, Super Eat today. I was uh, watching one of Dr. Z's videos a while back, and somewhere down, way down in the comment section, someone had asked about uh, about uh, superheat and how you determine superheat. And I don't know if he ever answered that or not, but um, but since I was sitting here thinking of a video, trying to come up with something to do for a video, uh, that popped in my head. I have a, uh, a digital psychrometer, which is a, this is a SUPCO digital psychrometer, and it's pretty straightforward. It just runs off of a 9 volt battery, handheld, pretty compact. It does wet bulb, dry bulb, and there's other manufacturers, but this is a, this is a pretty straightforward. And it does uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit, and uh, I turned it on a while ago, so it's pretty, pretty close on. We'll say 62. We'll call it 62 uh, degree wet bulb in here. So we're going to do that. Let me write down 62 up here in my paper. And uh, here's there's a formula you use to get superheat, and you can look it up on the web if you want. But uh, basically, it's three times the wet bulb minus 80, which is just a number you have to subtract, minus the ambient outdoor temperature, and you divide the results by 2. So instance, for instance here, um, it's 62. So multiply to that times 3 is 186. Um, minus 80 be 106. Minus the ambient temperature, and it's kind of laid out now. It's uh, almost 9 o'clock. So it's about 75 degrees outside right now. So that would be 31. That would be 31, and divide 31 by 2 gives you 15 and a half. So about 15 degrees of superheat. It was 85 outside earlier. That put it closer to 10 degrees of superheat. But any, that's a, anyway, that's a real easy uh, formula to memorize. And uh, three times the wet bulb minus 80 minus the outdoor ambient temperature, and divide the results by 2. Um, hope it's helpful. Thanks.